This question is from GATE, Mechanical Engineering of 2013. This is question number 7. The question is, for steady fully developed flow inside a straight pipe of diameter D, neglecting gravity effects, the pressure drop delta P over the length L and the wall shear stress tau are related by. So four relations are given to us and which among this correctly represent the relation between pressure drop, the length and shear stress in a pipe flow. Now suppose this is a pipe of length L in steady fully developed region and this is the velocity profile in radial direction and this is the shear stress profile in radial direction along the length of this pipe. And for a pipe flow, we know that the wall shear stress is given by tau is equal to negative of pressure gradient in x direction into r by 2. Okay, so let's write tau w. Now the change of pressure with respect to length will be equal to pressure drop with respect to length L from let's say suppose this is point A and this is point B. So in A to B the pressure drop will be PB minus PA which is delta P okay and L is the length of this pipe along x direction. Therefore shear stress if we substitute this in the above equation we can write the wall shear stress will be equal to delta P by L this is negative okay because pressure is decreasing in this direction that's why we have a flow in this direction from A to B okay so this is negative of dou P by 2x okay so this multiplied by R by 2 R is D by 2 so this will be D by 4 okay so from here we see that tau W will be equal to delta P the pressure drop into the diameter of this pipe divided by 4 times of L length therefore from here we can say option A is the correct choice for more information on pipe flow you can refer to the NPTEL course lecture number 45 pipe flow on introduction to fluid mechanics and fluid engineering by Professor Suman Chakraborty of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Kharagpur.